Standing before the assembled press, Warren Hellenius underscored that this discovery was not just about solving a theoretical puzzle. It had real-world implications for diseases that affect millions. The laureates identified the guardians of the immune system, regulatory T cells, she explained. These cells prevent immune cells from attacking our own bodies. Their findings have laid the foundations for a new field of research and have driven the development of new treatments, for example, for cancer and autoimmune diseases. The mention of cancer caught the audience's attention. For decades, cancer therapy had focused primarily on trying to strengthen the immune system to recognize and destroy tumors. But the discovery of regulatory T cells revealed why some cancers manage to evade immune attack. They exploit these same peacekeeping cells to suppress the body's natural defenses. Conversely, in autoimmune diseases such as type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis and multiple sclerosis, the immune system becomes overactive, failing to respect the boundary between self and non-self. By understanding and potentially controlling regulatory T cells, scientists opened the door to treatments that could either boost or rein in the immune response depending on the disease. The room filled with the soft clatter of keyboards as journalists rushed to file their stories. Behind the scientific jargon lay a tale of persistence. Mary Brunkow's work on the gene known as FOXP3 provided one of the crucial pieces of evidence. Patients with rare genetic defects in FOXP3 suffer from severe autoimmune disorders. A devastating confirmation that without regulatory T cells, the immune system can spin out of control.